Hey, how's it going today? Um, so animated video with AI, um, you know, places like Pika Labs and stuff. The video can be cool sometimes. Sometimes it's terrible. I'm going to show you um, a free way today to animate your pictures that you make with Stable Diffusion and Focus. Um, any image you can animate this way, but this is a, a pretty cool free site. And uh, obviously there's going to be a pay side to it but you can do a lot with the free. So anyway, let's get started. I think you're gonna like this. So first things first, let's go over to Fucus. Um, I'm gonna go very basic over here and just generate a basic image that we can take over and animate. So I'm not gonna do too much. Um, I'm gonna go a, a real wide cinematic um, five to two ratio on the uh, aspect ratio. And then on the style, we're going to, um, make sure that we have hyper realistic checked on that because we want this to be a realistic looking uh, video when we're done. And since we're using widescreen, we're going to also go ahead and check cinematic. I'm going to do a real simple prompt, just house on fire, hyper real, and uh, let's make it epic. So it gives it that cinema look to it. Um, let's generate, we may have to do, you know, one or two images till we find one that we like. The first image here, it's looking almost so overwhelmed with flames that uh, I kind of wanted to have a little bit of, you know, difference so that we can do smoke and fire. So we'll go ahead and, and run a second one and see if it's any better for what we're wanting to do today. So you can see the second one here. It's still a pretty heavy fire, but now we've got some separated smoke and fire and some different elements that we can work with. So once we get done generating that image, let's save that. And then we're going to go over to Runway ML. And I'm going to leave a link in the description for this. Um, this is an awesome um, editor tool that there's a lot more to it than just what I'm going to show you here today. And it's worth getting on there and checking out. But anyway, let's pull our photo up over there. So we're going to click on the image tab and upload a file and then wherever you're Focus folder is go ahead and open that up and uh, find the picture that you want to use and just open it up into this um, editor. Now, once it's done uploading, we're going to go to Motion Brush, which is in beta right now, so it's only going to get better, but it works fantastic, I think, as is. Um, once the photo is loaded in, we click on the Motion Brush and just somewhere on the screen to start our um, paintbrush. Now we've got five different brushes that we can use on this one to set five different types of motion. I'm going to only probably use two brushes on this, one for the smoke and one for the fire. And just go around and paint in all the smoke with the first brush here. And then we'll go back with a different brush and paint in uh, over the top of the flames. Now on the sliders, I'm going to move the smoke to the left slightly, up slightly, and then I'm going to add what's called ambient down here. And that just gives it noise. It just gives it motion, makes it move, swirl, things like that, um, which is really good when you're like doing a character. If you add that to somebody's hair, it makes their hair move when they turn their head. So I'm going to continue to get all these flames highlighted. And uh, like I said, there's, there's three more brushes here. If I had other things going on, like, you know, a car going by or the sun setting in the background, clouds, anything. I mean, I can use these brushes. But uh, that's the nice thing to have five of them because I've not run into something yet that I needed more than the five to animate my picture. And for the fire, I gave it um, very little vertical movement and mostly upright movement. So now that we're there, we want to click on image description. And just like in any other AI, um, you want to give it a description of what you're wanting it to do. So we're, we're going to prompt this out as house on fire. Um, heavy smoke and, uh, rolling fire blazing, and we'll put big flames in here. And then we just click on the generate button. Now, when you have a free account here, it'll put you in a queue. I've never had it take very long at all. And, um, you don't, you don't get first dibs when you're on a free, but that's okay. This, this goes plenty fast and it usually takes, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute to generate your video. And uh, we'll come back to it here in just a second.
So once it's done processing your video, we will just click on the play button here and you see it's a four second video, but it's really cool. I mean, it's, uh, there's a, you know, hundreds of uses you could use this for. Um, the other thing is, as it stores all the videos that you've created. So I'm going to show you how to get to your previously generated videos here. So over, we click the home page here and over on the home page, we'll see a tab called assets. And if we click assets, that'll take us to all the videos that we've made on here. I'll show you um, a few of the videos that I've made on here. And you know, this is AI, so there's going to be things that are wrong. Like our fire one came out really good for our first try. I've had a lot of them that they don't come out so great on the first try. And usually it's my fault and not even so much the software's fault. But like this waiting room full of people here, um, it actually came out really nice. It's just got a lot of slight head movement and stuff going on in it. I did one here of people shopping in a grocery store and the first couple of seconds look great. And then you see it starts to stretch out and warp here where her hand is. And if you notice when she first started moving away, her hands stayed at the cart. So you, you may have to run them one or two times to get exactly what you're looking for. Um, this is a newscast came out pretty good. Um, but the first time I ran this newscast, it, it looked like the lady on the right was having a stroke. So now this one of an atomic bomb going off or a nuclear bomb, I got this on the first try and I did use some of the camera effects on this one and it came out um, fantastic. Missile launch here, the missile on the right did great. Missile on the left exploded on takeoff, which is a very usable video, but it wasn't what I was planning on. But, you know, th that could be used for something. Um, and then this missile takeoff does really well. And you can see the ride at the end of the video, it starts to separate and uh, stretch out. But, you know, by all means, this is definitely a usable video. You can see vehicles in the background moving and such. So once you start adding camera pan and stuff like that, and these things get pretty cool. So anyway, there are other controls for this. Like um, when you create these videos, you can pan the camera, you can zoom, you can give it shake, all kinds of things. All I really care about is getting the animation. I can do all those other effects in my video editor, but this is worth trying out. And if you have some really cool uh, pictures in Focus that you, you know, want to see some animation to drag them in over here and have some fun with it. Um, you can do close-ups where you can make, you know, eyes and facial movements, making people talk, things like that. So anyway, um, if you have any questions or uh, comments on this, uh, you know, post it down in the comment section. And we'd love it if you'd give us a like and a subscribe and we will see you in the next one.